hey family it's nana again you're welcome back to my channel thank you guys for coming back to watch this new one so in today's video i'm going to show you how to make this amazing butter that you can use as a deep conditioner to give your hair more hydration you can also use it as a sealant you can also use it as your pre pull so for this but for this butter guys i use most um some of the most important ingredients, the most effective ingredients that have been talked about in the natural hair community. This butter is super amazing in growing your hair and in moisturizing it at the same time. So keep watching and I'll be right back. Alright family, to start off with this recipe, I have an onion that I have um, diced already into, into pieces. Then I have uh, one aloe vera leaf that I have chopped also. I've washed it and I've chopped it. Then I have rosemary, one tablespoon of rosemary, dry rosemary. You can use the fresh one. I have some orange peels. Then I have two tablespoons of moringa. I also have two tablespoons of fenugreek. I have um, Japanese green tea. So we want to start by blending all the the in, the ingredients that we chopped. After blending, this is how it looks, guys. It's so it smells so good, guys. So the purpose of the orange peels is to try to mask the the, the onion scent, and it's doing a very good job. And then you want to add your oil that you're going to use to cook um, all the ingredients. That is basically extra virgin, extra virgin olive oil. And then I will also add my MSM powder. So guys, remember that if you have, if you put S, um, if you put MSM powder in oil, it won't dissolve. Okay, guys. So you want to put it in something in an oil that has water in it as well. Then you add your fenugreek. Also add your moringa and your muk and your green and your green tea, guys. Mix well. If you need um if you need it to have a lot of oil, you have you have to at this point you have to add some more. So after you mix everything properly, guys, you want to bring it to the fire to cook for um, about 10 minutes on very low heat while stirring from time to time so that it doesn't burn. So 
so after 10 minutes that's how it's looking guys like i said if you want it to have a lot of oil you have to add some more but i just wanted it to have just enough oil i don't want the butter to have a lot of oil i want the more of the butter so as usual guys i show you um the amount of um fire that i'm using is the lowest in my bun burner so while it's cooling off i'm adding my butters i add um about i think it's about a spoon in total it's about a spoon of shea butter and then I'm, I'm going to add more of my mango butter guys so guys I'm gradually replacing my <laughs> I think I'm going to replace my shea butter with mango butter I really love it Then I'm adding um, some oils, my castor oil and um, avocado oil. Then I'll go ahead to strain it, guys. After straining, I went and I went up, went back to check um to melt that butter using the double boiler method. So guys, after um, straining everything, that's how it looks with all the pop and everything, guys. So I decided that I was going to use some of the pop in the butter. I didn't want to keep um, much. So I um, added some of the pop into the oil, like you see me doing there. So then you want to cover that and put it in the fridge. So guys, if you don't have a fridge, you can just leave it um, standing there for some time. And after like 30 minutes, you come and stare and cover it again. And you keep staring until you, until you get the consistency that you like. But if when you have a fridge, it's easier because you put it in about 15 minutes, 15 to 20 minutes. It hasn't, it, it will harden. And if you want it to hard, get real hard, you have to put it, leave it in the fridge for a longer time. And then when I brought it out, as I was looking, so I started whipping with my electric whisker. And if you don't have this, you have to do it manually too.
So guys, after whipping for some more, whisking for some while, I started adding the some of my essential oils. As usual, guys, I'm gonna leave the the list of ingredients down below, so you don't bother. Just go down to the description box below the video, and you'll find all the ingredients that I've used. Also, guys, I'm adding um, about 15 drops of my preservative. I'm also going to write the name down. Do not bother. And then you just want to mix, whisk everything together. And then um, it'll be ready for you to put it in your, your storage container. Okay, guys. So, guys, if you've been watching this video up to this point and you've enjoyed it, please, guys, subscribe. Like the video and also share with your friends. Do not forget to give us um do not forget to turn on your notification bell guys so that each time I put on the video you'll be able to watch. Please guys subscribe. I really appreciate all of you who have already got subscribed and you've been following from day one. Thank you guys for hanging in there. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. So that is how it's looking, guys. Look at that consistency. Oh, my God. So silky and soft and creamy. <laughs> guys, it's super moisturizing. I won't lie to you. Super moisturizing. This butter is amazing. It's going to grow your hair wildly. So basically, this is like the only butter that I've been making over and over and over again for us to use in the house so i make this one and um i actually alternate between this one and the carrot butter that i made some time ago and you people loved so this and the other one is are the carry are the butters that we are used mostly in the house for our hair okay guys so that is it for the video let me know as usual what you think in the comment box below let me know your favorite butters. Let me know what you do, what you use to seal your moisture in your hair. And leave me your criticisms. Ask me your questions and I will and I will answer them. As usual, thank you guys for watching. God bless you. Make good decisions, guys. God bless you. And I hope that your challenge is going well. Mine is going really well. As, as as it is it is a challenge so it's actually challenging so <laughs> but keep going guys those of you who are doing it hang in there before you know it will be true so thank you guys for watching i'm gonna see you in the next video god willing bye bye